The monarch butterfly, or Danaeus plexippus as it's known to the scientific community, is perhaps one of the most widely beloved insects in Western culture. Its incredible migration cycle and unique beauty has captivated scientists and the public alike, asserting itself as somewhat as a social icon. But did you know that there are human effects posing real threats to the monarch way of life? To understand the threats they faced, we first have to know a thing or two about the way they live. Monarchs have two main stages in their migratory cycle. The first is the breeding season, which spans an area anywhere from southern Canada to the southern United States. In the spring, this is where the adult monarchs breed and lay eggs for the next generation. When the fall rolls around, the new generation of monarchs start to migrate south at a rate of 100 to 500 million butterflies per year. Their destination? Mexico. Specifically, the mountainous Oyamel fir forest, where the monarchs hibernate the entire winter. These forest regions provide shelter from predators, cold, and extreme weather, creating a unique microclimate in which the monarchs can hibernate. After the winter spent there, the monarchs make the long journey back north to breed, and the cycle starts again. And it would be this simple, however, hibernation has been getting tougher and tougher for these monarchs in recent years. Despite the forest region being recognized by the Mexican government as a nature reserve, human threats in the area prevail. These threats include illegal and excessive logging for profit, a growth of agricultural pastures in the area, agricultural fires, and charcoal production. A culmination of these effects has slowly degraded the overwintering habitat and the delicate microclimate that these monarch butterflies need to survive the winter. This is a big deal. Studies have found that from 1971 to 1999, 44% of the forest was region was lost or altered, causing less and less butterflies to occupy the area each year. In the 1996-1997 season, 18.19 hectares were occupied by monarch butterflies. Compare that to the 2013-2014 season, in which 0.67 hectares were occupied. Tourism in this area has become an issue too. With an increased amount of tourists getting just a little too up close and personal, the monarchs are being disturbed from their hibernation, forced to use up crucial energy reserves which they're going to need if they want to make it back to the north in the spring. These threats are only part of the issues affecting the monarch life cycle though. The little guys also face adversity on their breeding grounds. The breeding season is highly regarded by scientists as the most sensitive time of the butterfly life cycle, and so threats are the most degrading in this part. So what's the issue? Well, monarchs are very dependent on the milkweed plant, feeding on it as larva and strongly relying on it as a habitat. The problem is milkweed populations are declining. The main culprit of this is genetically modified corn and soybean crops. These GM crops resist the effects of herbicides, which is great for the crop, but terrible for the milkweed that would normally grow in it as it completely kills it. Since this technology's introduction in 1999, milkweed has been eliminated from an estimated 40 million hectares of these crops. Increasing land development has also contributed to the decrease in milkweed populations, at a rate of about 1 million hectares per year. These effects have resulted in an estimated 21% drop in milkweed populations from 1995 to 2014, and a further 14% population drop is predicted within the next 100 years. The significant decrease in the breeding habitat within the last 30 years has really put a stress on the species' ability to survive, and has shown having parallel effects on monarch populations. Of course, these are just some of the threats that monarch butterflies face today. And while there certainly are others, hopefully you've learned some things. And hopefully it's clear now that even the monarch butterfly, an organism seen quite fondly in Western society, too faces adversity due to human effects. However, if you care about the monarchs and want to hopefully see a change, you can always make a start by sharing this video. It would really help me out. Thanks for watching.